What is up guys? Welcome to another video on my channel here Liciously. Today I actually have some very exciting news that I wanted to share with all of my viewers. Um, as you guys are aware, there's many hair loss research in the pipelines right now and there's a lot of exciting things that are upcoming, uh, particularly Shiseido and Dr. Suji, which I'm actually very interested and very optimistic about. So a lot of you guys are skeptical when it comes to research pertaining to hair loss cures and that sort of stuff because the ones that actually claim to cure hair loss never really fully go through with it and it always seems as if they're always pushed back you know five years ten years and it just seems like we're just back to uh, square one but i always like to stay optimistic and i think that some news is always better than no news because it still shows that people and scientists are still looking for a cure to treat baldness. There's a lot of promising research in 2018 and just yesterday evening I've actually read through an article that claimed that Korean researchers developed a hair loss remedy to revive miniaturizing hair. So before I get started, as you guys can tell from this video, I've actually started growing my beard again. Um, I've been, you know, very neglecting when it came to the whole beard growing process. And I actually wanted to get back into it, so I've actually started using 5% minoxidil. Um, this is actually my first day using it. I've been growing this for about two, two to three days now. And as you guys can see on the side, there's some little fuzz that are starting to grow. And so hopefully I can be more dedicated to this whole beard growing process. I know that some of you guys are very looking forward to it. If you guys look on YouTube, there's actually a lot of people, a lot of Asian guys who have actually had very good results. So hopefully I can get the same results that they did. Um, but I'm going to be using 5% minoxidil and I'm going to be incorporating thermal rolling. And so in another video, I will show you guys what I actually do to apply minoxidil on my beard and also use thermal rolling. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. So what exactly is this research about? Well, the Ministry of Science, Technology, and Community announced yesterday that a team led by Professor Choi Kang-yol of Yonsei University's Biotechnology Department found a causative protein that inhibits or prevents hair growth and therefore developed a new type of biochemical material that inhibits and prevents the function of the protein that causes hair loss opening a new gateway for treatment in the field. The team led by Professor Choi discovered a protein called CXXC5 that acts as a negative regulator of the wind signaling pathway inside of a cell that is linked to follicle development and hair regeneration in adults. Wind signaling pathway is important for several developmental processes including hair follicle development and formation. Disrupting the CXXC5 disheveled interaction with a competitor peptide called PTD DBM activated the wind pathway and accelerated hair regrowth and wound induced hair follicle neogenesis. So pretty much the research shows that CXXC5 protein is very toxic to the scalp and it's actually one of the main causes of hair loss, confirming that the protein blocks hair formation when it actually encounters with another specific type of protein. So based on this theory, researchers successfully developed a biochemical called PTD-DBM to prevent the binding of the two proteins. This was tested on hairless mice for about 28 days and the hair follicles became healthy and started to grow again. In addition, VPA, also known as valproic acid, a chemical that activates the wind signaling system, was used together to enhance and stimulate hair growth. Now, the only bad thing about this research so far is that it's actually not going to be very helpful if you're fully bald. You actually have to have miniaturized hair, meaning there has to be at least some type of thinning hair or, uh, you know, there has to be hair on the scalp in order for this to work. For example, if you're trying to regrow hair on your forehead or you're trying to lower the hairline where there's no hair at all, this actually is not going to work. You actually have to have some type of miniaturized hair or thinning hair in order for this to be successful. So currently this test is actually being tested on animals for toxicity and the research was funded by the science ministry and the findings were published in the latest edition of the Journal of Investigative Dermatology in South Korea. Now like I said, some news is always better than no news and hopefully this is actually going to be opening up a lot more doors to finding a way to regenerate hair tissue and serve to improve current hair loss treatments. Now it's probably going to take some time before they find a better way to treat hair loss um, or even finding a cure but there's no doubt that you know with all these new technologies and developments that they're actually coming up with a cure is actually going to be within reach. So thanks for watching guys. If you guys have any questions make sure to leave me some comments 
Um, subscribe if you guys haven't done so. And stay tuned for some more updates. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.